Cool. That's fine. Checkpoint. <sighs> All right. So, Runaways. Runaways. Not to get confused with the hit indie point-and-click adventure game Runaway, Tale of the Turtle, or whatever it's called. I don't think I ever played it. It's not great. Yeah. Like... Part of the issue is that the storytelling doesn't really make sense. There we go. All right. And it... All right. Yeah. I just got it. That was it. Okay. okay. And, um, like... There you go. The major of... So, the second... It's a trilogy of games. Okay. And the second game, um, like, really, really builds up the... Okay! Aliens have stolen my girlfriend, and now I have to go rescue her. And, like, that's the, in the entire third act is building up to that. Mm -hmm. And then it ends before you actually go rescue her. Uh, and then the next game starts, like, a year later. Uh, after she's been rescued, but it looks like you're dead, but you're not actually dead. So it's her going around trying to figure out what happened to you. That's bad. Yeah, and it, like, completely glosses over, like, the fact that there are aliens and stuff. And That's bad. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Had some cool puzzles. So yes, Runaways. Marvel's stretching themselves too thin, is what you were saying last time. Yeah, uh, I think Marvel's in a situation where they're spreading themselves way too thin with everything that they're trying to do. I love the concept of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Second only to the Universal Dark Universe. <laughs> and See, the problem with my, my problem with the Universal Dark Universe is it could have been good if they didn't go so grimdark with it. My problem with the Universal Dark Universe is that it already exists. Yep. It's called The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Yeah. That comic is great, by the way. If yeah. You read it. The movie, not so much, but the comic. The movie was fun. Like, it, it yeah. wasn't great, the but it was The movie was fun. goofy. The movie was not the comic at no. all. But the, the movie was goofy. It was fun, goofy times. What? I hit you with my cape. Cheating, but, cheating um, yourself. Can you? Yeah. Can you? Uh, there she is. Okay. There he is. Yeah, that was bad. I thought Magic Koopa was a girl. I don't remember. <sighs> wow, whoever designed this one is a dick. Yeah. Um. <sighs> so yeah, The Runaways is basically... What? I mean, the, the commercials have kind of given away the basic premise, right? Yeah, it's a bunch of superheroes running away. Kids. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's more to it than that. No, but not really. I'd say there's a big chunk that that's leaving out. But yeah, so it's a bunch of teenagers and younger who have powers and have, are, have run away from home. And they're just kind of a group together. So, which is a cool concept. My concern with it, God damn it, that was bad. Is lava? No. Um, I don't think Marvel, up until the Netflix series, and I only actually really like one season of any of the Netflix Marvel series. I don't think Marvel had a single good TV show. Nice. I thought um, Agents of Shield was really weak season one. It was just mm -hmm. kind of floundering around until it had the tie-in with the movies, and then it was a bit better, and it had some good moments here and there, but overall pretty weak. Like, most of Marvel's TV game has been incredibly weak. I'll agree with you on most. Um, I think Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., as of the train episode in season one, that's when it got good. I, think... I, I don't think it got better. I think it got good. And season two promised a lot and did some interesting stuff, but in the end, I really liked great. season two. I still haven't watched season three, so I can't say anything about that. <sighs> season three has one of the, like... It has some really dumb stuff in it that really... Put... I stopped watching in season three. Okay. But... Um, as, as, yeah, the, yeah. as far as the Netflix stuff goes, I loved Jessica Jones and the... the... I thought Jessica Jones was bad. Really? Yeah. I loved it. The only part, the, re the only reason to watch Jessica Jones was David Tennant. You see, I don't agree with that. I do think David Tennant was an, did an amazing job. I thought, like, have you read the original Jessica Jones? Uh, Alias? Yes. Uh, long time ago, but yeah. I felt they ruined her character in, in the TV show. I didn't, see, I didn't think so. I thought they were going for just kind of a different thing on it. 
I think that what we saw was definitely a very damaged Jessica. Which we get in the, the books. It's yeah. just done better. I don't know. I liked it. I, I, thought I also thought Luke Cage job. was really... Like, the character Luke Cage was really boring. I actually really liked him. I still haven't watched Luke Cage. But I liked him in Jessica Jones. Um, I really liked Daredevil... Both seasons. Daredevil season one I really liked. Season two, I liked any episode that focused on the Punisher. Mm -hmm. Because anything involving Elektra was bad. Uh, I didn't think anything involving Elektra was bad. I think that the Punisher stuff was better than the other stuff. But I still liked the season as a whole. I, I think it got a little, like, unfocused. Oh, totally. It was like... My issue with it was it went from like something interesting is going on to magical ninjas and then I just kind of sure. Um Oh, is there like a boss rush here? No. Every boss is repeated twice in this game. Oh, okay. Even the easy one apparently. Mm -hmm. I mean they're all Oh well, that one he has the little fire things, so it makes it supposed to make him a little harder. But... Oh. It's not. But uh yeah, I don't know. I like I, my my I problem with <sighs> Jessica Jones, there was a lot of nothing in it, mm -hmm. and I wanted so much more of her investigative detective work. That's fair. And there was none of that. Sure. By the way, you missed him just kicking it off screen. He just picks it up and kicks it. That's pretty and great. And the entire castle just flies off screen. That's uh, that's pretty great. Um, but like Luke Cage, I felt like in the comic books, they're in love. Yeah, they have a baby. I felt none of that in the show. Uh, I didn't feel love so much as, hey. You want fuck? Like. Let's fuck. I don't know. They felt like. All right. Front door or back door? Uh, Front, I guess. Okay. Making me go the hard way. If you want to go the back door, you can go the back door. Um, I don't I remember the order to go. Liked them. I, they, def to me, they felt like there was somewhere to go with them yeah i guess i i went from being really really excited for this like four part like i thought it was the best idea to have um the series do what they're doing with like four individual seasons and, and then, then defenders yeah and i went from like being super excited to watching jessica jones and being pretty disappointed after i was i was super into daredevil i love yeah. daredevil season one um Season two started off with Matt Murdock calling something epic. And I'm just like, what? And like the dialogue was just bad. I mean, to be fair, Matt Murdock has some pretty crazy dialogue in the comics. He, but like, it just didn't feel like Matt Murdock. It felt really bad. And like the choreography went to shit in season two compared to season one. I have heard really good things about Defenders. I'm, I'm going to get to it eventually. Like I'm going to watch I'm, all of... Iron Fist yeah, and all of... Yeah, I haven't of... watched any Iron Fist. I've heard that Iron Fist is, like, the weakest of all the series. Which doesn't paint it in right picture for me. Right, but I've also heard that Iron Fist is a lot better if you approach it as, like, each of the Defenders' own series is about a member of the Defenders, and then Iron Fist is about their, like, golden retriever who also wants to help. <laughs> Where it's just like, yeah, I got this, I can do that. No, buddy, please don't. Bowser. <laughs> like, um, apparently Danny Rand in the TV yeah. show is kind of an idiot. Yeah. But like, I feel like if I approach it from a Danny Rand is an idiot perspective, I might just be able to find some humor there. I'm fine with that. I'm not a big fan of Green Bowser. I like Green Bowser. It. <laughs> Fuck you, bastard. <laughs> God damn it. There we go. I think you're just not gonna hit with that one. <laughs> it's fine. Parallaxing. Huh. It doesn't cover the whole screen. Yeah. Give it to me. Thank you. 
damn it. All right, you have to get from above, don't you? Yeah, I fucked that one. Bum, get bum, a throw bum, thing, Bowser? Bum, bum, bum. Bowser, throw thing? Bowser, bow, bow, Bowser. Want throw a thing? Cannonball. Here's the cannonball. How does that fit? Where does he go? Uh, It's whatever also allows large Mario to fit through pipes that he's bigger than. He's not, though. He's always the same size. Nope, sometimes he is bigger. Which pipes? Like future games. Hmm. Well, those games are bad. There you go. Uh, two more? Uh, yeah, maybe? Yeah, two more. Really? I think so. I'd have imagined it'd only be one. <laughs> Rule of three and all. I've hit him multiple times. No, no, I mean two more small hits. Uh, Not two more sections. Each time give it, there's been a give new section, it. though, it's been three hits. Has it? Yeah. I don't remember. I'm just on autopilot right now. True. No, that's right. Bowser, it's just um, Bowser, Bowser, Mario's Bowser. Nintendo games as a whole are yeah, really good about three. Yeah. Which oh, shit. I think is a good thing. It's nice to have an established base. Mm -hmm. And um, also, it feels like I don't know if it's just because I'm being conditioned to think that way, but it feels good. Like yeah. three always fucking feels like the right amount. Well, uh, a lot of things that we, we are definitely conditioned to like the rule of three. I can't grab it. Good to know. Oh. Huh. That's weird. Really, Bowser? <laughs> Re really? Really, buddy? Fuck you, Bowser. <sighs> uh, I mean, to be fair to Bowser, why would he give us something to hit him with? Yeah, yeah, that's right. There you go, just two. Oh. The other times it had been three. Weird. Boop, 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 boop. Hey! She doesn't Bowser. look happy. She looks, like, concerned, you know? She kisses my chin. Like, you know that concerned smile? Like the, oh, that's great. <laughs> Mario's adventure is over. <laughs> just that done. Yep. Mario, the princess, Yoshi, and his friends. Okay, so the only other friend is Luigi. And he is the second player if you play two player. Well, I think it's supposed to be Yoshi and Yoshi's friends. Maybe. But, like, they just don't mention Luigi. Yeah. They're mean. They're mean people. Because well, Luigi didn't win. If Luigi won, it would say Luigi. I'm pretty the sure princess. it doesn't. You don't know that. I, I don't know that. You don't either. Um, <laughs> I think I. Hard I think fire. I know what I'm Who's about? launching fireworks? Uh, Koopa Troopas? Why? We just killed their boss. Yeah, they're warning fireworks. Yeah, but that was a heart. Yeah. To signify the loss of life that was Bowser's. He didn't die. He just team rocketed into the distance. Looks like Bowser's blasting off again. All right, we'll do a quick fast forward through this, and then we'll start on Can we not, finishing up like, Star Can we not pause and break through this? Really? No. Fuck necessary credit scenes. This is me hitting the start button for Peter. That's me hitting all the buttons for Peter. I believe you. I just didn't know. No. I thought I had her done it immediately. We did it! The Yay. eggs can move on their own for some reason. Wait, what? The eggs were all bouncing along on their own. No, like they do. Thank you! Oh, we never went to Yoshi's house. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Were we supposed to go to Yoshi's house? No. Okay. Here. God damn it, we're not done. Do, 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 do. 78, 78 seems low. Mostly because we haven't done Star Wars yet. Alright. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Five lives? Yeah, it restarts whenever you exit. Jesus. Okay, I guess. Yep, that's why you never <laughs> restart a Mario game, because you lose late lives. Huh. Alright, I need to not fuck this. Alright, we should be good. Do the coins only last as long as the music? Uh, yes. You don't want to hit the P thing? Not yet. Oh, no, 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 the coins will stay there. They'll only keep expanding for as long as the music. Okay. So we should be good now, and we hit the P block, and if I did this correctly... I hope I did. It should start going up. Where's my camera? <sighs> so what's up? 
what was supposed to happen? There's a thing. I'll just get a Yoshi, uh, Yoshi and do it. It'll be okay. faster. Hey, Yoshi. Uh, a specifically, Yoshi. a blue Yoshi. Yeah, you need to feed the tiny Yoshis to make them big. And luckily, he's big now. Oh. All right, we'll beat this normally, and then we'll um we'll come back and get the secret exit later. Okay. So this is Star Valley. This is uh Star Road. Yes. Okay. So, oh, 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 oh Yoshi's Yoshi, dead. Yoshi, no, she. Not a big deal. All right, so, I think I've told you about this already. Maybe. Every star road level has a normal exit and a secret exit. Right, and the secret exit takes you to another star world. For all of them, except this one. Okay. Um, for every single other one, it will. That one takes you to the next one. The secret exit takes you to a uh, special zone. Okay. I wanted it, Yoshi. You don't get to be big yet. So I like all these secret exits a lot. You have lot. to hit a button to make Yoshi eat something? Nope. You can also just let him eat a star at the beginning of the level and he becomes big immediately. Oh. Huh. But I didn't want him to do that. Yeah, that sounds... boring. Poop. All right, Peter, tell me if you can figure out the secret for this area. I like the secret a lot. Okay. Like... If this... you see it, just shout it out. Okay. Is it there? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's an easy secret. Yeah. <laughs> the fish is catching up. Oh, he went to sleep. Yeah. Did it. Yay. And that'll I like how there are normal here. fish in the background. And then we go down to here. And we have the Yoshi color we want. Blue? Yeah. Da -ba -dee -da -ba -da. Uh, right. Hmm. All right, I'll kill him with one of these. It's fine. Shit, no. Got him. <laughs> I need to keep the Yoshi, so that worked out okay. perfectly. I feel like getting that blue Yoshi wasn't too difficult. No, but it's nice to have the correct one. Yeah. All right, um, I'll just do this the easiest possible way. Okay. Which is by hitting the speed switch. All right, and now he only throws those, and I can get up here. Yep. I can grab this. I can kill him with it. Oops. There we go. Oh. Neat. Yeah. That could be a... Okay. Can you pick those up if you don't have a Yoshi? Yeah. Okay. Let's pick them up like normal. All right. And we're almost on a Star Road. Cool. I'm just going to use Yoshi for the last section because it's the easiest way to do it. Yeah, like, if you do... If I did it correctly, I could have gone to the top, but I didn't do it correctly. Mm-hmm. So, fuck it. I can fly. How I'm long a magical can fly birdie for? until he swallows it. How long until he swallows it? Well, I don't remember the exact timing. You'll see. He starts to have a swallow animation before he does it. Oh, there it like is. That. That's about how long. Oh, come on. No, she, no. <sighs> that sucked. Now you have to use his brother. What's his brother's name? Jim Veloshi. Jim Veloshi, okay. It's funny because... Alright, and because I've gotten all the Switch Palaces, I can do this really easy. Oh, right. Need a shot. <laughs> but I can do that really yeah. easily. It's possible to do with a Yoshi with a shell. Yeah. It's just annoying. Alright, I'm gonna go get the blue Yoshi real fast, and then we'll finish up Star Road, and we'll do special next episode. Cool. How do we get to a special? Just go back to before and find the secret exit? Yeah. Okay. Alright, in Star World 2, we'll let the star just go down to the Yoshi. Now eat it. And look at that big Yoshi. Bloshi! We did it! Alright. Alright, so call it now? No, we'll do this real fast. Okay. And then we'll, uh. We'll hit it up next time. Cool. Whoop, I almost fucked that up. Wee Man. John Belushi was hilarious. Yeah, John Belushi is great. 
and Jim Belushi was present. I think that's high enough. I might be able to just do it with this. We'll find out. Like, I can't hear the music. I can hear it. Tell me when it stops. Okay. It's done. So, that's it. That's right there. So we just need this guy. We're almost there. Hooray! There we go. Look at that. Can you not do this with Yoshi? Yeah. There we go. Okay. We have all the switch palaces, so we don't need to worry about that either. Yeah. All right. And Ooh. we unlocked. Boop. Hey Star, Star Road. Road. So we'll hit up Star Road next time. Yeah. Special. So what is it? Just like eight levels? Eight levels. Okay. Yep. Any of my secret? No. Okay, cool. Bye. Bye.